Listening test. In the listening test, you will be asked to demonstrate how well you understand spoken English. The entire listening test will last approximately 45 minutes. There are four parts, and directions are given for each part. You must mark your answers on the separate answer sheet. Do not write your answers in the test book. Part 1 Directions For each question in this part, you will hear four statements about a picture in your test book. When you hear the statements, you must select the one statement that best describes what you see in the picture. Then find the number of the question on your answer sheet and mark your answer. The statements will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Look at the example item below. Now listen to the four statements. A. He is looking at a monitor. B. He is sitting at a desk. C. He is writing on a blackboard. D. He is repairing a computer. Statement B. He is sitting at a desk. Is the best description of the picture, so you should select Answer B and mark it on your answer sheet. Now Part 1 will begin. Number 1. Look at the picture marked number 1 in your test book. A. He is holding a bottle. B. He is putting on a wool hat. C. He is looking at the sign. D. He is eating something. Number 2. Look at the picture marked number 2 in your test book. A. He is fishing at the shore. B. He is holding a fishing rod. C. He is getting on the boat. D. He is reeling the fish in. Number 3. Look at the picture marked number 3 in your test book. A. A plane is touching down on a runway. B. Some service vehicles are gathered near the aeroplane. C. Some passengers are disembarking from the aircraft. D. The airstrip is being cleared by the service crew. Number 4. Look at the picture marked number 4 in your test book. A. A man is standing at the front of the room. B. Most of the people are seated at the meeting. C. Some people are concentrating on taking notes. D. The tables are being set up in a meeting room. Number 5. Look at the picture marked number 5 in your test book. A. A man is being served. B. A man is wearing a safety helmet. C. A bike is leaning against the table. D. A table is covered with a cloth. Number 6. Look at the picture marked number 6 in your test book. A. A woman is holding a leash. B. A woman is feeding the dogs. C. A woman is petting the animals. D. A woman is walking the dogs on the beach. Number 7. Look at the picture marked number 7 in your test book. A. They are putting on their glasses. B. One of the men is wearing a long-sleeved shirt. C. They are having a conversation. D. One of the men is sipping from a bottle. Number 8. Look at the picture marked number 8 in your test book. A. The man is measuring his height with a ruler. B. The man's back is turned to the window. C. The woman is assisting the man. D. The woman is trying on some clothing. Number 9. 
Look at the picture marked number 9 in your test book. A. All of the seats are unoccupied. B. Candlesticks are set on the table. C. Some dishes are being served. D. Chandeliers are being polished. Number 10. Look at the picture marked number 10 in your test book. A. There are piles of books on the floor. B. Some potted plants are on the ledge. C. Plants have been set out on the balcony. D. Some pots are beside the entrance. Part 2. Directions. You will hear a question or statement and three responses spoken in English. They will be spoken only one time and will not be printed in your test book. Select the best response to the question or statement and mark the letter A, B, or C on your answer sheet. For example, you will hear, When did you speak with the vice president? You will also hear, A. For a couple of hours. B. Last night. C. Yes, his speech was very informative. The best response to the question, when did you speak with the vice president, is choice B. Last night. So B is the correct answer. You should mark answer B on your answer sheet. Now let us begin with question number 11. Number 11. What's wrong with this fax machine? A. Let me take a look at it. B. I'd prefer sending it by email. C. A long time ago. Number 12. Where is Mr. Johnson from? A. I'm from Hong Kong. B. As far as I know, he was born in London. C. He is an assistant professor. Number 13. Is there a pharmacy around here? A. At around noon, I think. B. I have a sore throat. C. There's one on Grand Avenue. Number 14. Why was the office so empty? A. Everyone was in a training session. B. Okay, let me place an order. C. That's a good idea. Number 15. How much is a one-way ticket to Orlando? A. This way, please. B. In fact, I've been there once. C. That'll be $120. Number 16. How was Mr. Jenkins' talk? A. He seems quite talkative. B. It was a little boring. C. I talked to her on the phone this morning. Number 17. Who wrote this article? A. It was so interesting. B. Actually, I did. C. Yes, I rode a horse. Number 18. When will we meet the new vice president? A. Thanks, it was a nice present. B. At headquarters. C. In a couple of weeks. Number 19. Why were all the desks moved out? A. They're moving out next week. B. I bought them from Evergreen Furniture. C. We were cleaning the office. Number 20. Where will the seminar be held? 
A. I was held up in traffic. B. You could ask John. C. It will take place tomorrow. Number 21. You received the catalog, didn't you? A. I'll check my mailbox. B. He's interested in your new line of clothing. C. No, I haven't met them yet. Number 22. Could you stop by the warehouse and see if the shipment has arrived? A. OK, I will try it on. B. Yes, it stopped working all of a sudden. C. No problem, I'll handle it. Number 23. Would you prefer taking a cab or the bus? A. Whenever you want. B. Let's take a taxi. C. Yes, it would be much faster. Number 24. I heard you had a job interview last week. A. Yes, it has a nice view. B. It went well. C. No, I haven't heard from him yet. Number 25. How far is it to the convention center? A. In the middle of this month. B. So far, so good. C. We are almost there. Number 26. Would you like me to send you an invoice? A. I'd appreciate it. B. No, I haven't received it yet. C. Yes, I like his voice. Number 27. Didn't you revise the itinerary? A. No, but Mr. Brown did. B. I don't think it's refundable. C. I took a vacation in January. Number 28. Should we hire someone part-time or full-time? A. We need both. B. Yes, the salary should be higher. C. To replace the parts. Number 29. How often do you usually go overseas? A. For a month. B. Every quarter. C. More than usual. Number 30. Is Ms. Allen coming to the party tonight? A. The party starts at 7 p.m. B. I'm afraid I can't. C. She said she'd be there. Number 31. When do you think we'll get our new office chairs? A. It looks very comfortable. B. The supplier will call us today. C. From the warehouse. Number 32. Have you worked with Sam before? A. We used to be in the same department. B. Yes, it worked well. C. No, I don't have it. Number 33. Be sure to review the contract thoroughly before you sign it. A. Yes, it was assigned to you. B. OK, I'll contact him beforehand. C. I'll do that. Number 34. Do you know who made the last-minute change? A. 
I believe it was Benjamin Jackson. B. I don't know him very well. C. She took care of the meeting's minutes. Number 35. Why don't we raise some money for the charity? A. Put it on the chair. B. Due to their limited budget. C. That's a good idea. Number 36. Will Ms. Davis lead the training session tomorrow? A. In the library. B. No, Mr. Westwood is replacing her. C. Sure, I'll pick you up at the train station. Number 37. If you have lots of things to do, you could ask Alex for some help. A. Thanks, they were very helpful. B. Yes, you can. C. Thanks for letting me know. Number 38. Are you still working on the financial report? A. I already turned it in this morning. B. In accounting. C. It will cost you a lot. Number 39. Would you like to join our poetry club? A. In the evening. B. Sorry, I'm tied up these days. C. It's located downtown. Number 40. The desk is more expensive than I thought it would be. A. Let's check somewhere else. B. On the hard disk. C. Yes, I thought he would. Part 3. Directions. You will hear some conversations between two people. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speakers say in each conversation. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The conversations will be spoken only one time and will not be printed in your test book. Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation. Excuse me, I'm here to see Mr. Walker. Do you know where his office is? You must be looking for the personnel manager. His office is on the third floor. By the way, I understand he is away on business. I don't think so. His secretary called me yesterday and asked me to come over to his office for a job interview today. Really? One moment, please. Let me call his office and see if he's available. Number 41. Where does the conversation probably take place? Number 42. Why does the woman want to see Mr. Walker? Number 43. What will the man do next? Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. Jack, how is the article about successful businesswomen coming along? As you know, it's due on Friday. I hate to say this, but I haven't made any progress yet. Actually, I'm having a hard time arranging an interview with Kate Tucker, the founder of GNC Automobiles. If that's the problem, you may want to call Jane Moore in the editorial department. She wrote a piece about her last year, and she can probably help you with it. Great. I'll get in touch with her right away. Can I have her phone number, please? Number 44. Where do the speakers probably work? Number 45. Who is Ms. Tucker? Number 46. 
What does the woman suggest the man do? Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation. Hey Peter, it's almost 7 p.m. How many more of these vehicles should we work on today? We need to put snow tyres on every wheel of this van and check the brake and transmission fluid of the truck over there. That's a lot more than I expected. Will we need to stay late to finish this all up? I'm sorry, I can't. I'm supposed to pick up my cousin at the airport at 9 p.m. Why don't we get to work early tomorrow instead? Number 47. Where does this conversation probably take place? Number 48. What does the man suggest? Number 49. What does the man say he has to do later? Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. Pardon me. I purchased this textbook from my class here, but I found some pages missing when I got home. I'm sorry about that. Would you like me to give you a refund, or do you want to exchange it with another one? If you'd like a refund, you need to show me the original receipt. Well, I'd like to get my money back, but I forgot to bring the receipt with me. I'm afraid we can't give you a refund without it. But if you give me a minute, I'll check with the store manager to see what I can do for you. Number 50. Where most likely are the speakers? Number 51. What is the woman trying to do? Number 52. What does the man offer to do? Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation. You know what, Sarah? Important Japanese clients are supposed to visit our headquarters next Wednesday. Do you have any idea how we can make their visit more enjoyable? I've heard they are very interested in musical performances. How about taking them to one? That's an excellent idea. I understand Les Miserables has been playing at the Pacific Theatre since last Monday. I've heard great things about it, too. After the show, we can take them to the Little Castle for dinner. They serve a variety of amazing Italian dishes. Les Miserables is one of my favorite musicals. I'm sure they will love it. I'm going to visit the website and reserve tickets. I hope that there are still good seats available for Thursday. Number 53. What are the speakers discussing? Number 54. What does the man say about the little castle? Number 55. According to the woman, when will the clients probably see the show? Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation. Emma, what happened to you this morning? We were waiting for you at the staff meeting for an hour. I'm sorry about that, Kyle. My car didn't start up this morning, so I had to get it towed. By the way, did the vice president say something about the business proposal from Grand Bank? Yes, but would you mind if I fill you in later on? I'm about to visit a client's office to finalize a contract. Not at all. Please give me a call when you get back. I'll be in my office until I finish writing the sales report. Number 56. Why did the woman miss the staff meeting? Number 57. What does the man say he will do with the customer? Number 58. 
What will the woman probably do this afternoon? Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation. Ted, I'm in charge of this afternoon's presentation on our new mobile phone that hit the market in March, but I haven't received the sales figures from John. I've been trying to contact him all day and I still haven't reached him. Didn't you know he called in sick today? Apparently he hurt his leg while playing soccer last weekend. I didn't know that. Hopefully he will recover soon. By the way, how can I get the sales data I need? Not to worry. Jenny in the sales department may have all the information you need on her computer. I'll ask her to email it to you as soon as possible. Number 59. What does the woman say she needs now? Number 60. What happened to John last weekend? Number 61. What will the man probably do next? Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation. Hi, Emily. Did you hear that the purchasing department finally decided to buy a copy machine for our office? I didn't know, but that's great news. We have had difficulty making copies of our sales reports since the old ones stopped working last week. By the way, do you happen to know what kind of copier they have in mind? I have no idea. Let me call David and ask if he knows. Well, I hope they'll buy us the same one that the personnel office currently uses. Apparently, it can also scan all kinds of images and print documents, which would be a huge benefit to us. Number 62. What kind of equipment are the speakers discussing? Number 63. What department does the woman probably work for? Number 64. What is the woman pleased about? Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation. Hello, this is Kevin Drake from the Chicago Daily. We'd like to run a special feature on the top universities in North America, and I was wondering if I could interview some of your students and take pictures of your facilities. I'm afraid I'm not in a position to decide on that. Samuel Peterson, our registrar, usually handles this kind of thing, and you should get permission directly from him first. But he's on vacation, and he won't be back until next week. Hmm. Could you tell me how I can get in touch with him directly? I'd like to discuss it with him in person. OK. Wait a minute. Let me look up his cell phone number in the directory. Number 65. Why is the man calling? Number 66. What is Mr. Peterson's occupation? Number 67. What does the man ask the woman to do? Questions 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation. Hi. I'm calling to rent a car for my vacation to Michigan Lake this weekend. I'd like an SUV that has off-road capability. Let me see. Oh, you're in luck. There's one SUV left for this weekend. It's a 2012 Grand Cherokee and its engine is powerful enough for a comfortable drive on rough grounds. That sounds great, but I need to talk with my friends first and confirm with them. I see, but I suggest you make up your mind as soon as possible. It'll probably be rented pretty soon. Number 68. What sort of business is the woman most likely involved in?
Number 69. What does the man plan to do on the weekend? Number 70. What does the woman recommend? Part 4. Directions. You will hear some short talks given by a single speaker. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speaker says in each short talk. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The talks will be spoken only one time and will not be printed in your test book. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following announcement. Attention all passengers waiting to board Atlanta Air Flight 1710, which was scheduled to depart for New York at 3.10 p.m. Because of heavy fog here in Heathrow Airport, this flight has been delayed until further notice. Passengers holding tickets for this flight are invited to receive a meal voucher worth $10. If you like one, please feel free to pick it up at our customer service desk, which is situated next to gate 10 on the second floor. If you want to get a refund or exchange your ticket, please proceed to one of our ticket counters. Thank you for your patience. Number 71. Where is the announcement being made? Number 72. According to the speaker, what caused the delay? Number 73. What is being offered at the customer service desk? Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following telephone message. Hi, this is John Moore, and I'm calling regarding the internet service you provide. I'm scheduled to move to Jacksonville next Monday, and I'd like to get it installed as soon as possible. Steve Wagner, one of my colleagues, told me that he has been very satisfied with your fast and reliable service, so I'm wondering if you can give me a price quote within the week. Please call me at 400-2355 whenever you are available. When you return my call, I'll give you my new address in Jacksonville. I hope to hear from you soon. Bye. Number 74. What is the purpose of the speaker's call? Number 75. What does the speaker want by the end of the week? Number 76. What is the listener required to do? Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for attending today's managerial meeting. As the senior designer, I feel very pleased to let you know that our new minivan, the Geo X10, will finally be unveiled today. Since this new model is powered by our latest hybrid technology, it will be a lot more fuel-efficient than its predecessors. Management has decided to release it nationwide next week. Our marketing director, James Tucker, has worked hard to make the launch a success. In fact, he is here now to talk about the marketing strategies he's prepared so far. Please welcome him with a big round of applause. Number 77. What is being shown today? Number 78. How does the Geo X10 differ from earlier models? Number 79. What will James Tucker talk about? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following radio broadcast. Good morning, listeners, and thank you for tuning in to the TBN Business Talk Show. 
I'm your host George Cooper, and we'll be speaking with the famous business columnist Elizabeth Watson today. She used to teach microeconomics at Utah University. Last year, she won the Pacific Award, which is awarded to prestigious American economists. Recently, she wrote a book titled "How to Get Rich," and it quickly became a bestseller. Today, she will discuss the international awards she has been nominated for, and briefly talk about her new book at the end of the show. If you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate to call our station at three zero zero one two zero zero. Number eighty. What is Mr. Cooper doing now? Number eighty-one. What did Ms. Watson do last year? Number eighty-two. What are listeners invited to do? Questions eighty-three through eighty-five refer to the following announcement. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Sally White, and welcome to the Manchester Art Museum. Today, I'll be guiding you through our famous sculpture garden, which features a number of bold and innovative designs from all over the world. Especially, one of the emerging young sculptors in Europe, Juan Garcia, will be here at noon to talk about his works that are displayed here. We are very pleased to give you this great opportunity to hear from the gifted artist. Finally, I'd like to remind everyone that photography is not permitted during the tour. Should you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. If you are ready, let's get started. Number eighty-three. Who is Juan Garcia? Number eighty-four. What will take place at twelve p.m.? Number eighty-five. According to the speaker, what is prohibited? Questions eighty-six through eighty-eight refer to the following telephone message. Hello, Ms. Carter. This is Jason Morrison from Indiana Consulting. I reserved the dining hall at your hotel for April fifteenth, and I'm calling to let you know of some changes we'd like to make. Initially, we were expecting 120 employees to attend our end-of-year banquet, but there will actually be 30 more people joining us for the event. Also, I'd like you to add a vegetarian option to our dinner menu. I hope these changes won't cause you any inconvenience. If you want to discuss this in more detail, don't hesitate to call my office at three zero zero seven six zero zero. Number eighty-six. What is the main purpose of the call? Number eighty-seven. How many people are now expected to participate in the event? Number eighty-eight. Why is Ms. Carter invited to call back? Questions eighty-nine through ninety-one refer to the following voicemail message. Hello. This message is for Ron Myers. This is Laura Thompson from Perfect Dream Insurance. I'm calling concerning a small mistake on the invoice I received this morning from your store. I ordered a computer desk and five large filing cabinets, but it looks like we are being charged twice as much for the desk. When I placed the phone order last week, you told me the desk would cost eighty dollars, but you charged us one hundred sixty dollars for it. Fortunately, it appears that the money hasn't been debited from our company account yet. Could you send us a revised statement by email later today so that I can settle the payment as soon as possible? Thank you. Number eighty-nine. What did the caller do this morning? Number ninety. What is suggested about Mr. Myers?
Number 91. What does the caller want Ron Myers to do? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following announcement. Good morning, everyone. My name is Jenny Brooks, and I'm here to give you a brief outline of today's orientation for new employees. First, our president, Ben Clark, will give a welcoming speech at 10 a.m. Following that, you will watch a video describing the history of Peace Bank for about half an hour. After taking a short break, you will take pictures for your ID card in meeting room 303. Lunch will be given in the cafeteria at noon, after which you're required to meet in the auditorium at 1.30 p.m. sharp. In the afternoon, Bruce Park, from Personnel, will tell you about our attractive wage and benefits packages. Number 92. What is the main purpose of the announcement? Number 93. What will happen at 10 a.m.? Number 94. How long will the lunch break last? Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following telephone message. Hello, Ms. Johnson. This is Kathy. As you requested on the phone last Tuesday, I have booked you on the flight leaving Tokyo on Friday, April 5th at 7 p.m. This flight is scheduled to arrive in Hong Kong at 10 p.m. local time. But the Miracle Hotel, which you wanted to stay at, is fully booked because of an international sales convention being held the first week of April. Alternatively, may I suggest the Blue Wave Hotel? It has recently been renovated and seems to be popular with tourists. Also, it's within walking distance to the beach. Please call me back at 650-1250 and let me know what you think. Number 95. What did Ms. Johnson ask Kathy to do? Number 96. Why is the speaker calling? Number 97. What is stated about the Miracle Hotel? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following advertisement. Are you planning a special event? If you want it catered, please consider calling Homemade Catering. We offer catering services for weddings, birthday parties, business meetings, corporate and social events, and we guarantee to serve a wide range of dishes to suit your needs. In particular, we specialize in Chinese and Indian food. Both all-you-can-eat buffets and sit-down meals are available. Our chef, Jeff Wang, is sure to make food that will make your event successful. Also, Mark Kim, our event manager, is willing to help you turn any occasion into a great event. For more information, please visit our website. We look forward to serving you soon. Number 98. What is being advertised? Number 99. What does the speaker say about Mark Kim? Number 100. What are people encouraged to do to get further information? 